Hi everybody, Matt Maringley here again today, um, making a bunch of videos, so you probably see the red shirt in a few of them. Um, we're going to take a look at this player here, but not necessarily the player to get to the shouted out activity, which I've shown you before, which is over here, but how to use this part, the words part, to share a lesson from your computer to this board. They're on the same network, so we're able to do that. So I have done some things ahead of time. I've opened a notebook lesson on my computer that you can't see. Um, I'm going to go to file and share right here, and I'm going to pick D37 from the list. So I'm going to hit my input button. Sorry if I go off camera. It's going to take me to my computer. I've done some things already. Up here, there's a box that says you're all set. When I go to file and share this smart notebook lesson I've created, it's going to ask me to sign in to a smart learning suite. That's okay. If you're logged into Google, you hit the button that says sign in with Google and you'll be signed in. Every single teacher in the district has a subscription to Smart Learning Suite, which allows us to share our lessons to the player. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go up to File. And it, when I hit Share, if I hit Share, and I kind of pre-did this here, so sorry about that, it's asking me do I want to share this lesson with a smart board. I'm going to tap on that. And now it's going to ask me for a code. So now I have to go back. So I'm bouncing back and forth. Ooh, hit the same one twice. Sorry about that. And I'm going to look at this button down here. It says get a code to add it. So I'm going to tap on that. And it's going to give me a code that I can add my board to. Spinning a little bit. E7F5. So I'm going to go up here back to my computer. And I'm going to enter it right now using the keyboard off screen. So I'm going to pause this. And you're going to watch me type it. Remember it was E7, F5, E7. F5. I'm going to click on connect. I'm back. It's saying working on it. Give it a little bit here. Give it a little bit. Pick my board. I have just that board to choose from because that's the only one I have permissions for and it's going to remember it for me next time. I'm going to hit share now. It's working on it a little more and this is going to put this lesson on the board so I can use it in the player. Give it a couple seconds. It's not the best thing to do on camera. Kind of went off camera, came back on. I'm stalling. Okay. Great, your lesson is on its way to the smart board. I'm going to hit this checkbox. I'm going to go back to my board, remembers where I was. Now notice my lesson has appeared down here, my Bill of Rights argument. So when I tap on it now, there's my lesson. Okay? I don't have as many features as I have in Smart Notebook sitting on the computer, but nonetheless, it is here. Why would I do that? I would do that because up here, I can hit this little button and I can share this lesson with a bunch of PCs just by the students doing that. And when I draw on it or I change the I change the the view, move to the next slide, the students will move with me. If I decide to write on the board by picking up a pen and circle something, point to it, circle a name, underline things, the kids will see that right on their devices, especially if you have a larger class and they're sitting towards the back and they can't see you up at the board, allows them to see exactly what you're doing right in front of them. So that's sharing your smart notebook files with the panel, and now they live on the panel, and I don't have to worry about going back and forth between the board. I uh, hope that was useful. This is a little bit longer, more advanced of a video than you're used to, I'm sure. If you want any help trying this out, um, give me a call, send me an email, but book me, and I'll come down and show you how to share this with your player. Hopefully you like that little tip and you got what I showed you and you're going to do great with those panels. You already are. See you next time. Bye.